Today I am present before you with a very interesting topic which is basically an essay written by Northrop Fry, Myth Fiction and Displacement. I came across this article recently and it is a wonderful summary of this interesting essay. So let us look at how this essay is taken into consideration by Fry and what are the basic ingredients of this masterpiece. The essay talks about three things, myth, fiction, and displacement. And throughout the essay, we have to keep an understanding of these three terms. The myth flourishes around society as a certain type of story. It is a story in which some of the chief characters are gods or other beings larger in power than humanity. It influences society to believe it although actually it is like a folk tale. That is, such an abstract story pattern. Even it does not need the plausible or logical story in motivation. But the society still believe it as a story really happened or having some exceptional significance in explaining certain features of life such as a ritual. Although it is such an old tendency emerging around society Merely, it is able to build up bigger structure. The myth is a part of the world of art formed as a verbal art. Time to time, society creates it relying on their behalf that probably comes from their experiences in natural space. Then it emerges a perspective in human being that grows the system of tales called as mythology. Every developing mythology or developed mythology tends to complete itself to outline an entire universe in the due course of time. To understand the myth, it properly knows the principles influencing to form the myth in assimilating the nature to human form that are analogy and identity. Analogy means that there is a relation bounding between human life and natural phenomena Identity conceives of a sun god or a tree god. These will be inherent to the perception of society. Then perhaps a myth may be told and retold. It may be modified, elaborated or different. Patterns may be discovered in the due course of time and its life, the poetic life of a story. In many cases, the myth becomes the main outline then occupied by literature including fiction as well. Literature is more flexible to tell the story of universe implicitly and completely perhaps consisting of the myth. Also similarly the principles of myth, analogy and identity become the structural principle of literature. Thus between the myth and literature can form a certain relation intending to study the genres and conventions of literature. In the other hand, the literature seems to have a purpose letting the myth still alive and making it credible, plausible, logical. This technique can be called as displacement. Time to time, there is a continuity established in a unity between myth and literature, which here in the essay is fiction actually. And finally, in the conclusion, the literary criticism is taken to understand the structure or system forming the literature or myth. It shows that the literary shape comes only from literary tradition and so ultimately from myth, although the literature is created as unified imaginative system, one of the main uses of myth criticism is to enable to understand corresponding place that a work of literature has in the context of literature as a whole. Finally, the literature is a reconstructed mythology with its structural principles derived from the myth. So this interesting article definitely will help you in understanding very interesting things about the essay. Do read the essay in complete and then when you listen to this particular video, which is actually a brief understanding of the essay, most of the things will become extremely clear to you. If you like this video, please give it, give it a thumbs up and do like, share and subscribe. Thank you and have an amazing day ahead.
see you next time